and welcome back. Um, we're going to continue working on our React project. And so far, we've got um, our list of categories. We've got the list of products. We've got the buttons highlighting when they, the category matches their name. Um, and we've got the list of products here uh, filtered based on the category name. OK, so the last step now is to handle a click on one of these buttons so that it changes the selected category, OK? So how are we going to do that, right? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pass a, and actually, before we get started there, let's point out that I'm in app.js, OK? So I'm in app.js right now, and I'm looking at this category list component. And what I want to do is I want to pass a function into the category list as a prop so we can pass a function as a prop and then we'll have the buttons that are inside here call that function for us okay so let me actually kind of arrange this so it reads a little better right okay so what are we going to do i'm going to go to category list here and i'm going to add an on click prop okay and then i'll put the curly brackets here, right? And then inside the curly brackets, I'm going to write a function. Okay, so I've got my function here like this. You know, I can put the curly brackets there too, and the parentheses here. And what I want this function to do is when you click on a category, like let's say you click on music, right? I want the name of the category to come into the function here as a parameter. And then I want to use that name here to call set category. OK, so um, here I'm going to say, let's call this new category. Right, not to because I don't want to confuse it with this category variable. Right. So I'll call it new category and then right here. And again, we could have the curly brackets there. But if we just have a single line of code, then we can get rid of the curly brackets and the same with the parentheses, right? So I'm going to just write it like this new category. And then right here, I'll say set category and I'll set the category to the new category. OK. I'll take the new category and what this will do is whatever this val the value is for new category, that's going to be assigned to this category variable here and by calling set category, we'll refresh this component. And when we do that, it'll pass the new value for category into your category list, and it'll pass the new category here to the product list. So that'll change the products that are filtered. And this will, when we pass it in here, it'll change which one shows the selected state. OK? OK, so now we have an on click here as a prop. Right, so that's a new prop that we added to category list. So let's go into category list and use that. I'm going to go find category list JS here. And um, currently I'm taking in just the category prop. So I'm going to take in the on click function here now. So I'll deconstruct to get that new prop off of props. And now down here, when we click on a button, right? I'm going to um, move this to its own line. So I'll put the class name on its own line and the closing arrow, right? OK, and then I'm going to add an on click. I use the same name, but this on click is the property of the button. And then we're going to call the on click here. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to put um, the parentheses there the arrow and then here I'm going to say on click and this on click actually you know what let's just to make this a little more clear well we'll leave it like this I guess I was going to say we could rename this one so maybe it doesn't confuse us but this is the property for the button and this one is the value that we passed in here as a prop okay and remember if you recall this is also the function maybe I can put these side by side too let me do this here let me see here. What if I go back to app here, right? So here is our here is our 
on click function in app.js, right? So this is app. And this function takes in a new category and calls set category. So the on click here is this function, right? So it's going to take in the category name here and that will set the value here and then we'll call set category, right? Okay, great. So when you click on the button here, I'm going to grab the name from the object, right? So this, um, yeah, our object.name right here is going to be the value that we want to pass in here. So I'm going to choose um, object.name there, okay? So this is going to be, you know, I have to have the parentheses here if it doesn't take in a parameter, right? So if it's empty, then um, then we put the parentheses there, right? And then I got the arrow, and then we're going to call on click, okay? So let's uh, let's give that a try and see how it works, right? So I'm going to refresh my page here. Oh, electronics. It's got six items, and I see six, right? If I click on baby, it's got four items. And then you can see each time I click on this, we're going to pass the name of that product, right, or the name of that category. So the same name that's displayed inside the button. We're going to pass that up to here, and then we're going to get it here in new category, and then we're going to set the category to the new category, right? And when we do that, this component's going to refresh, right? Because we called set category, so that's going to run the file here again or run this function, and that will set category to new value, right? And then when we do that, all of this stuff runs again, and this gets a new category name, so it highlights the button. And this one down here gets a new category name, so it filters the list at the bottom here, okay? Hmm. Okay, so that's working pretty good. Okay, so now let's go on to the next challenge. Okay, so I think we've got this one covered here, right? So let's talk about challenge number 10. So this says use components whenever possible. So actually this, we kind of did this one a little bit because um, we kind of broke this down into a component. We broke this down into a component. Um, we broke the header into a component. Here's a challenge if you want to continue with that, right? Um, so a couple things that could use componenting or componentization, I don't know what you'd call it, right? But one thing that could happen here is that if you um, look at the product list, this is doing a lot of work and then it's printing out the, the div h2 paragraph, right? This actually could be its own component, right? So this could be broken into a component. You could import it up here. And then these values of name, description, price, and category, and rating could all be passed into that component as props. Okay, so that's challenge number one. Break this down into components. Um, challenge number two is in the category list. So if I look at the category list, this button, actually it's pretty simple, but this button could actually be its own component also. Hmm. Okay, so this one maybe doesn't make as much sense. That other one would be kind of good, but this one, you know, it kind of could be good. And it like, like it doesn't look great now because you're like, well, you're thinking like, well, it's only one button and one span. But in the future, we might add some more features to this. And then at that point, you might say like, yeah, this would be a lot better as a component, right? So I'm kind of just thinking ahead. Like that's the kind of thing that I would predict for the future. And then I would think like, maybe I'll just do that work now instead of later. So anyway, I'll leave that for you and then we'll end the video here and then we'll continue the other challenges in the next video. And as always, um, thanks for watching.